गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज इन द लास्ट क्लास ऑफ क्लास फाइव ई वी एस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डर्न ईट स्मार्ट एंड हेल्दी एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द न्यू लेसन द वर्ल्ड इन साइड वेयर वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम और अबाउट द प्रोसेस ऑफ डाइजेशन एंड ऑल्सो अबाउट द ऑर्गन्स विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस प्रोसेस सो इन द लास्ट क्लास आई ऑलरेडी टॉट यू अबाउट माउथ सो लेट स्टार्ट today's class so as you can see in the picture this is a diagram of human digestive system where where you can see human uh, sorry mouth salivary gland esophagus liver stomach pancreas small intestine large intestine rectum and anus so in today's class we will we will we will be going to learn about esophagus so let's start so as you can see in the picture about esophagus what it is written that food from the mouth enters a hollow tube called the esophagus or food pipe it means esophagus is also known as food pipe from where the food from the mouth enters the muscles of esophagus contract and relax to push the food to the stomach Now about stomach the stomach muscles grind and churn the food into a semi fluid state the digestive juices secreted by the stomach walls contains enzymes which further break down the food into proteins carbohydrates and fats in our stomach the food then passes to the small intestine so about esophagus and it is uh, uh, about esophagus and stomach it is written here that that the food from the mouth enters a hollow tube which is known as esophagus or food pipe then it passes down to stomach where the food get churned or grind into semi fluid state then the digestive juices which are present in the stomach which contain enzyme further break down the food into other nutrients such as proteins carbohydrates and fats then the food pass to the small intestine about small intestine it is written that the small intestine is a long muscular tube that mixes food with enzymes the useful nutrients from the digestive food are absorbed by the walls of the small intestine these nutrients are then absorbed by the blood vessels which carry them to different parts of the body digestion of the food is completed here so the digest digestion of the food is completely basic completed basically where in the small intestine and the small intestine is a long muscular tube that mixes food with enzymes and many useful nutrients and other minerals get digested in the small intestine these nutrients are then absorbed by the blood vessel which carry them to different parts of the body Now about large intestine the undigested food enters the large intestine where the water and minerals are absorbed the undigested food then gets converted into solid waste which passes into the rectum as feces the feces exits the body through an opening called anus now about large intestine it is written that all the digestion process completed were in the small intestine and after that the undigested food enters the large intestine where the water and minerals are absorbed and the undigested food then get converted into solid waste which passes into the rectum as feces and the feces exits the body through an opening called anus so this is all about the digestive system now we will learn about the importance of water in our life water is very essential for good health water and other liquids break down food so that the body can absorb the nutrients drinking water also prevents constipation the body loses water through breathing sweating and digestion so it is important to rehydrate so the importance of water is that that water is very much essential for our good health and water and other liquid help the food to break down into simple substance 
also it helps the body to absorb the nutrients drinking plenty of water also prevent constipation and the body loses water through breathing sweating and digestion so it is important to rehydrate our body and we can rehydrate our body by drinking plenty of water children should drink enough water as they constantly sweat during warm weather or while doing physical activities children between 4 to 13 years of age should drink about 6 to 8 glasses of water in a day so this is the amount of water children from the age of 4 to 13 years should drink 6 to 8 glasses of water in a day so with this i am ending this class here in the next class we will discuss few more important topic from the lesson till then thank you